He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. From the moon is the sign of feast. From the moon is the sign of feast. That's how your feast days are charted on the moon. All right, here we go. Biggest super moon is nearly 70 years coming on November 14th. So what they call a uh, super moon is coming November 14th. Now you may be asking, well, what's so special about that? I want to go down in this article. This is Channel 7 San Diego News. It reads, I'm going to read this. I want you to pay close attention, make sure I'm not adding words. The moon is fascinating on a normal night, but it's even more awesome when it comes in the form of a super moon. If you missed the last super moon on October 16th, you'll get another chance to enjoy a super moon sighting on November 14th. I'm going to jump. It says the super moon is a new or full moon that occurs when the moon is within night. Wait, let's read that again. It just went right by y'all. The super moon is a new or full moon. Now the white man's telling you, so now you should know. The white man's saying it. Believe him. Believe him now. The super moon is a new or full moon. So the, these people know that the new moon, the full moon, is the same thing. That occurs when the moon is within 90% of its closest approach to Earth in its elliptical orbit. When the moon is at its closest point to Earth in its orbit, that is called lunar perigee. So when the moon is closer to Earth than average, it appears much larger than it normally does and is an awesome sight to see. So all of, we already read what we wanted. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Right there, stop, stop. The supermoon is a new or full moon. We're going to stop right there. You, you can, can see. Yeah. You can see the moon. You can see it. It's not dark. It's not, it's not hidden. Hey, can we get that in uh, Baruch 6 and 60, please? <laughs> Baruch 6 and 60. Uh, you know, because I know, I know some of you knew. Some of you may be doubters. I don't know about that. Now the white man has told you. Now you can believe. <laughs> Cosign. Yeah, he has co-signed on what the Lord has shown us. Now you can accept the truth. And the truth will make you free. <laughs> Read that. Baruch 6 verse 60. For sun, moon, and stars being bright. For sun, moon, and stars being bright. Bright, meaning you can see them. Okay? And sent to do their offices are obedient. Sent to do their offices are obedient. So their offices are carried out when they are bright, meaning you can see them. So you can stop doubting. I wonder if what the brother said in the Hebrew, the crescent, the crescent or the chadash, forget all that. All that is the dazzle you with BS. They don't know what they're talking about. And we, uh, as we pray, we ask the Lord to be merciful upon our brothers and sisters and bring us together in the same mindset of Christ. And the prayer is true and simple. Give me Genesis 1. I always got to go back to Genesis 1, 14. To, uh, and it's so simple. It is so plain, so obvious. Genesis 1, 14 to 16, please. The supermoon is a new or full moon. Genesis 1, verse 14. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. See the operative word, lights. 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 Go ahead. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Uh -huh. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven and to let, give... And sorry. let them be for lights in the firmament of heaven. Go ahead. To give light. To give light. Upon the earth. Upon the earth. And it was so. And it was so. And God made two great lights. And God made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day. The greater light to rule the day, which is the sun. And the lesser light to rule the night. And the lesser light to rule the night, which is the moon. Okay? He made the stars also. He made the stars also. Is that it? Yes, so, from there, I hope this has solidified some of your faith that the new moon is a full moon, it's the same thing. Shalom, this I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ.
YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.